And we're live, Kev's point of view here with the very talented and beautiful Jerry G Reviews. How are you doing, Jerry? Oh, thank you very much for the compliments. Uh, I'm doing okay. It's very hot where I am, like 30 degrees Celsius, but I'm okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so let me ask you the first question. Uh, what brought you on to YouTube? What made you want to do uh, reviews and gaming and channel? Well, I love movies. I mean, since I was a very little girl and, you know, I, I'm one of those people that really love everything that's art. And movies are one of one of the you can say the most amazing art and re and requires one of the biggest uh, you know abilities talents uh, uh, in it and games are also you know the same thing so I just love both I mean I love to watch movies I love to think about how movies are made and and I really want to make a movie one day actually I I, I always you know have that in mind and games are. Uh, amazing art and amazing you know experience and it, they're so fun and you you're you're going into the world but you are part of the world and you actually get to do something in it like uh, you know interactive movie so I, I love both things really really love both things and you I said, had to express that through YouTube you said something in your uh, response that you've been wanting to make a movie uh, do you have something in mind like is your creative mind going with that yeah, well, you can say not now, but I'm certainly, you know, trying to go in that direction with time. So is there anybody on YouTube that, that you looked up to that you watched and was like, you know what, I could do this. You know, if that person could do it, I can do it. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. When I started YouTube, I was very much of a, you know, big fan of Angry Joe. Um, yeah of uh, you know jeremy johns grace randolph uh all those guys that really make movie reviews or game reviews and i'm like yeah i, I can do that um and not it's you know not that that extent that angry joe does it because he has all the budget and the costumes and we don't really really have costumes here i mean we have very small like uh, things to choose from on halloween because halloween is not really our thing yet so that stops me and the time mostly but yeah when i watch you know jeremy johnson all the other guys i mean all that i need is green screen and me and to start feel more more you know comfortable in front of the camera and everything is going to be okay with time i mean nobody is like super good in the beginning but i'm trying at least to get better so uh what uh so you do like a lot of movie reviews you do a lot of gaming comics uh what is something that your subscribers don't know about you that is kind of maybe hidden talents that you have or something that you would like to bring to your channel that you haven't done well some of my subscribers know that i uh you know i'm an artist uh, you know paint and draw and stuff that's like my first talent from a very little kid uh, i can sing but i don't really want to show that talent yet because it's not fully developed and if i can't you know do something perfectly enough or good enough i just don't want to show it but i can do that it, it just has to get over the nervousness you know inside if i'm not nervous i can really sing you know correctly and uh, other really other things that like making sculptures and stuff uh, again that's an art form and i can really think of things i mean i i wrote a lot of you know like um you know like script kind of things uh mm -hmm. like Shep like a shakespeare kind of poems when i was little and <laughs> stuff like that i mean everything art that you can think of pretty much i i've done it so are you um I know we talked offline, but you're actually a big wrestling fan. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, WWE mostly. Uh, how long have you been watching wrestling? I think since, like, The Rock was still there, uh, but kind of, you know, at the end of his career, at the end, I think, and Stone Cold was still there, so I was very, very little. And then John Cena showed up, and from there, you know, till now. Yeah, we, we spoke about this offline. You know, a lot of people on YouTube have a lot of hate for John Cena. Uh, what makes you like John Cena? 
Oh, well, for me, he's like the perfect guy. I mean, physically, uh, visually, and the way he acts and speaks and the way he fights. I mean, I know that he's like, um, you know, he's not the, the best in terms of uh, doing uh, super impressive uh, stuff like fighting guys because in the beginning, you know, when he started, he was, you know, the brutal things. I mean, he, ruthless aggression, you know, it was like his message. And now he's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to fall here and I'm going to wait for somebody to, you know, to pin me. And I'm going to pretend that I'm super hurt, <laughs> you know, when nobody really hit him or something. So that is what I don't like now. But in general, I really love him because he kind of represents everything that I like about, you know, like a hero, superhero, something, and he represents that uh, in in a wrestler. So, yeah, naturally, uh, naturally, I just like him because uh, I I get him. You can say that I I get him. Yeah, that's what I did when I looked up when I first started watching wrestling. I looked up the Hulk Hogan the same way. I used to think Hulk Hogan was like a superhero guy who can you know comes back from adversity and beats up the villains and shows his strength so i can understand that and why you like john cena with that yeah uh, yeah so uh what uh what what as far as the female wrestlers do you like any of them or is it mainly just been like a couple of the guy wrestlers and that's it yeah actually yeah i like female wrestlers i watch total divas <laughs> really that's my favorite show <laughs> like reality show that's my favorite one just love to you know to see how you know brie and nikki live and interactions you know with john cena and you know how daniel brand is in real life <laughs> it's really funny and interesting to watch uh, but i i just thought that the second guy that i like after john i think is randy orton for the same reasons that i like john he's like second best for me in terms of everything like looks and everything else but from the female wrestlers i i really like like a lot but not as a fan exactly i'm mostly you can say you know closest to the fandom i'm uh, towards nikki and brie and then you know a, a little bit of Trish stratus but she's not there anymore um and i think Paige. Yeah, pretty much what I watch from mostly Total Divas because you can't really get an imp impression of them because they only always play like uh, the mean girls or, or the good girls and you can't really get the impression of how they really are. It's not like John, you know, because John is really playing himself all the time. It's more of that than a character. Well, I know that you told me that you took martial arts. Like, uh, how long did you take martial arts for? Not for long. I mean, first uh, I started studying Kung Fu with two books on my own and then got into karate officially. But I was like uh, for a few months there, really, I didn't get to the yellow belt because I was frustrated with how the system was, you know, the system of teaching. It was not about somebody to teach you something that you can actually defend yourself with. It was about the money and, you know, which students are... Uh, this and that in which the parent knows the other parent and something like that it's so stupid and i just had to quit and i also ran out of money to pay for it so yeah like uh have you ever have you ever thought about ever getting in get getting into wwe or ufc has that ever been something you thought about N no i really don't want to get in those sports that can really really hurt you uh, I think I will be good at, at that because I really fought a lot of, you know, guys and girls, you know, growing up and I, I really won. But uh, yeah, and I do, you know, have this feeling of how to do things and how to fight and have, you know, the sense for it. But I don't really want to, you know, get into the ring and be hurt all the time. So I don't want to get through that. It's not for me. And, you know, female, you know, like Ronda Rousey, female UFC fighters, they always look like too manly. And I really don't want to get to that visual, you know, right, look. Yeah. So I prefer to, yeah, stay on the female side. <laughs> Thanks. So where, you, uh, so where are you uh, born and raised at? Uh, you mean where? Yeah, yeah. Where, yeah, yeah. where were you born and, and raised at? In Bulgaria, Sofia. So you've been there all your life. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so like anyone who's never visited Bulgaria, tell them a little bit about Bulgaria. 
Well, it's a very, very ancient country, you know, like Greece. Um, but, you know, a lot of people know Greece, uh, of course, because, you know, Greece has um, more, you can say more, just a famous side of things. And we we have a lot of, you know, ancient stuff, but we are not just, not just that famous. But we have a lot of ancient history, kings, um, you know, the country was... Um, on three seas i mean now we have one sea uh, the black sea but once you know we were spread on three seas very very old history and we're connected to the russians they're like cousins but we're different i mean we're not the same nations uh, be right. because we came from different tribes that are that were also you know connected interacting with each other but not really the same thing and and so on so if you come to bulgaria you're going to see very amazing nature a lot of mountains a lot of rivers and like i said the sea and other uh, you know ancient buildings and ruins and stuff so a lot of things to see here have you ever had a chance to visit america not unfortunately but it's my dream where would you like to visit america like where would you like to go mm. Los Angeles, Hollywood, to see that, you know, New York, the main, the main cities, the bigger cities, just to, you know, to see them. Well, I'll tell you a little secret. I've been to New York. I've been to Times Square before. First time I ever went, it was very overwhelming. Like you actually see a lot of people walking and they walk really fast. So it will be a kosher shock for you when you get a chance to, I'll tell you that. Oh, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure. I mean, some, you know, people that um, I know went there and they told me all, all about it. So it's going to be yeah, shocking. Like, yeah, they, they described it the same way. So, yeah. So uh, I know you're a big comic fan. Uh, who did you, uh, who's your, some of your favorite superheroes? Okay. So number one, Superman, number two, Batman, maybe number three, Spider-Man, but I'm not yet sure because, you know, growing up, Spider-Man was like a big thing. Spider-Man all over the place. Uh, it was the most popular superhero in Bulgaria, just because of the animations. And Superman was not that popular. Uh, Batman, like the second thing, maybe. Yeah, he was, I think, the second. But uh, these days, I have to see, you know, how they do the full Spider-Man movie, and I just have to reconsider how how I feel about Spider-Man now, you know. But I love pretty much all superheroes. Like I don't have, you know, superhero that I don't like. But my favorite one is definitely Superman, Supergirl, Batman, and after that, you know, the rest of the guys, Captain America, Iron Man, and stuff. So let me ask you: uh, you you did a review on Batman v Superman, and uh, I thought it was really good. I did a review on it also. Uh, a lot of people didn't like the movie. Um, what did you like about it? Okay, so, well, I liked everything about it. I can't wait to see, you know, the extended cut. But I liked, you know, how Superman was, uh, how he struggled with, uh, you know, his his powers, how to use them, and whether or not he has to do the right thing, you know, to himself or to the people, uh, where, where, you know, the people, half of them hate him, half of them love him. So what to do really in that situation, the struggle of Batman, why he was so you know, uh, such a negative person, uh, how he experienced, you know, the death of his parents and what that made him to be and how he looked on Superman because of that. Uh, and I like how, you know, Lois Lane tried to uh, do more things to investigate, no matter, you know, how Superman was, she tried to, you know, be there uh, for him and really do her part in terms of uh, see what the hell is happening in, in that whole situation. So for me, she did have a purpose. Also, Lex Luthor, I, I really hated him from the first moment, but that was just because, you know, Jesse Eisenberg was presented him um, pretty, you know, like every villain, villain, you know, just terrible guy that you just want to hate, but he does the job in his own crazy ways. So I don't like his behavior, but but I understand that he is like that because he was, you know, a boy of some guy that was an egomaniac. I mean, he did, you know, explain that uh, he was kind of abused in his childhood and now every power, everything, you know, it's in his hands and he can do whatever he wants with it. But he is a damaged person. So he is doing what is logical to him because he has a crazy in his nature and the logic uh with him is just based on what he's been through basically so i, I like the depth and everything and i like you know the martha thing that everyone hates 
it, it, it was uh, pretty interesting to see it uh, when I when I saw the movie because all of a sudden you know Batman realized that this was a guy too this was a person too and his hatred you know towards Superman was uh, definitely not justified and he was wrong and he was uh, allowed allowing himself to get lost in that hate so when he heard that name it, it wasn't just a name it was you know a, a wake up call for Batman you can say that's the best way to describe that. Wow. Uh, let me ask you, when they did the trailer and they showed Doomsday, do you think that kind of ruined it for some people? Yeah, yeah. It ruined it for some people. And I, for one, thought that, yeah, I thought that I, I really don't want it to see that, too. I really prefer to see it in the movie. Uh, for the first time because previously I was like, you know, when I was younger, I was like, yeah, I want to see as much as possible in the trailer because I just want to see more of the movie because, you know, I just can't wait to see the movie. But now I'm the opposite. I'm like, no, I prefer to see less of the movie so I can be really surprised when I see it. Yeah. It's much more impactful that way. It really is. It really is because when you see it all, all, all in the trailer, you, you're losing something from the experience that you could have had if you haven't seen that trailer. Exactly. Uh, what did you think of Ben Affleck as Batman? Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's very good question because at the beginning I really made the video even like, oh Ben Affleck is going to be terrible just because you know I don't like uh, how he looks. Um, uh, you know because when you see the comics, uh, Bruce Wayne always looks very close to how Superman looks: the blue eyes, the black hair, the square jaw. And he's not exactly that. I mean, he doesn't look so much as Superman. So, yeah, I thought that he don't have the look for this. But the way that he played the role, I think that he nailed it. And I really felt him as Batman. Now, all that I can think of when I hear Ben Affleck is Batman. So he did his job for me. Well, since you're a big video game fan, I think he was a lot like the one from the Arkham, from the Arkham games. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. He is very similar to that. Yeah. Well, video games. I know that you love video games. Uh, what are some of your favorites? Okay, so my most favorite is Uncharted, the Uncharted series, one, two, three, mainly uh, three and four. Now the new game, God of War. You know, God of War series. Uh, those are the PlayStation things. Um, there's one more thing, but I just can't think of it. But Tomb Raider, the latest new two games that came out recently, uh, Assassin's Creed, all the Assassin's Creed games. Uh, without Unity, without Unity. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. all yeah. of that. That Unity really disappointed me in so many levels. Uh, so many other games, like I, li I like even Sniper Elite. I love that game with the Cowboys, uh, that is first person. Um, I really forgot how it's called, but it's a first person cowboy game that came out like three years ago, I think. Um, Doom. Uh, was, know, it, uh, was it called Redemption? Uh, Gunslinger something. Oh, uh, okay. No, it's not Red, Red, Red De Redemption. No, it's, I mean, it's not, I know what that is. It's not that. Uh, oh yeah, Far Cry Primal is the most um, more recent game i played the demo of doom and i love it so i can't wait to play the whole game but i don't have it yet and i just can't think of anything else but um you you i mean you got the idea pretty much i i also play you know racing games i don't play strat strategy games um and uh, like elder scrolls you know from the rpg side the witcher 3 yeah yeah pretty much did you ever play? Uh, did you ever play Warcraft? No, no, it's not my type of game. I oh, love the movie, but I, I, I didn't play the game. What was your favorite Assassin's Creed game? Assassin's Creed Three that everyone hates. Yes, <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> I love it very much. I love Connor. Just love the Indian. The Indian, um, you know, world and how he was in that world. I just love the fighting in that game. Like I could make a pile of dead bodies, like two minutes. <laughs> it was very cool. I, you know what I used to do? I used to go up in the, uh, I used to go up on the roofs, and then I would kill one of the red coats, and then I would throw them off the, uh, off the, uh, off the building, and they would just like land there, and it would scare a bunch of people walking. It was funny, and it, 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 it's a great game. Yeah, I really don't know why people hate it, but uh, I had most fun with that game. 
So uh, if there was, uh, what kind of movies do you like besides comics? Like uh, besides the comic superhero movies, like what movies do you like? Um, okay, I like fantasy, genre, sci-fi, not so much of the drama. Uh, I like comedy movies, romantic comedy movies, uh, action movies. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, I don't really like so much of the drama, very serious movies. What are some of your favorite comedy movies? Oh, comedy movies. Uh, Hot Shots from the 90s. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> That's very funny. Hot Shots 1 and 2. I'm just going to die from laughing when, when I watch those two movies. Oh, so you um, like the slapstick? Yeah, yeah. I love that kind of a comedy, actually. Still love that kind. Um, I love, I think, White Chicks. <laughs> that was like a movie from six years ago, I think. Uh, that two, you know, black dudes pretended to be white chicks. Yeah. That, yeah, that was kind of funny. Um, uh, also, some movies with Cameron Diaz. I can't quite think of the name now. Uh, she had like The Sweetest Thing, a comedy that was, I think, from 2006 or five. That sort of a thing. I mean, I like a lot of movies. I just can't think of all of them right now. So you're not a big horror fan? Oh yeah, horror fan. Well, well, I like The Ring, you know, as a horror movie, but really don't prefer, you know, to watch movies like The Conjuring because I know that they're by, you know, true story. So I prefer not to watch that. It's not good for my mind <laughs> and for my nightmares after that. <laughs> well, you know, the one thing I would tell anybody, you want to you want to watch something like The Conjuring, watch it during the day. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. what I would tell somebody. If you're scared of it, watch it during the day. Yeah, I, I agree. The Exorcist did it to me when I was younger. That was like, that was, then I was like, I would not watch this movie at night anymore. Oh, no. And when I watched, you know, The Ring, because I was, uh, yeah, you can say very little back then. Um, when, you know, the phone rang, we, we, I was like with two other friends, and we were all like jumping. <laughs> out of our seats because we were so scared like the phone is ringing <laughs> uh, because you know there was that thing when the phone ring in the movie and everything gets like you you, you hear this voice on the phone like you're going to die after seven days <laughs> so we were like super crazy about that so you said you watch sci-fi movies are you a uh, star wars or a star trek girl both both oh. i love both yeah I won't be like separating them. I just love both. I mean, kind of leaning more towards, you know, Star Wars because it's more epic for me and kind of more iconic with the swords and a little bit with the universe. It's kind of more right. yeah, classic, you could say. It, it has that feeling of class, you know, with Star Wars. And Star Trek is um, very cool and, you know, big, but, you know, it's not the same thing. It it just have a diff. It has a different feeling to it. Yeah. What do you, uh, as far as sci-fi, do, do you like Godzilla, King Kong? Do you like any of those kind of things, or not really? Oh, I love Godzilla. I did saw King Kong. You know, the latest movie. I think by Peter Jackson. I'm not sure. Or yeah, yeah. I think you know, kind of don't really like that, but. Yeah, I just, you know, I, about King Kong, I'm not sure yet because I really never seen something so special about those King Kong movies and the previous movies are too old for me to see. So, and the new movie really didn't do it. But if there's like a good King Kong movie, I'm all up for that. Like, you know, the new Tarzan movie that's going to come out now, like very, very soon. Yeah, I love to see that. Well, there's a new Kong movie coming out called Skull Island. And it ties into Godzilla, and apparently Godzilla and King Kong are going to fight in 2020. So, yeah, I heard that. That's that's cool. That's cool. Although you know, Godzilla is like ten times bigger than King Kong, so <laughs> it looks I'm not like sure it, how that's going to work out. It looks like Andre the Giant versus Rey Mysterio. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, pretty much actually. Well, I know you're a huge huge Xena Warrior Princess fan. Uh, what made you uh, like Xena? Oh, that's a very good question, yeah. Well, 
because you know it's the closest thing to perfect that I ever seen in as a no any character really because she's like um, the ultimate warrior like she's been taught uh, you know by so many people Aries Lao Ma that's from that's you know an Empress from China um, some other girl that you know taught her the pressure points she is the ultimate war i mean she's super smart she can she knows strategy uh, and the interesting thing is that because she was evil she knows evil and she can find the best way to fight evil and that's what really impressed me and that's what was super different than the other heroes that i know because she was evil the first thing that she was she was evil so of course that's uh, you know a reason for that because her brother was killed by by an evil warlord and then she got lost in revenge basically doing the same thing that that uh, you know warlord did uh, and she met caesar and she he made her even worse and 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 yeah and so on so she combines everything that's best about a hero uh, the the brain mm -hmm. and the brawn and, and you know uh, even her charisma and everything she, she's i'm always like when watching scene i'm always like this <laughs> you know i'm captivated by everything that she says all the time she's so smart she has the best lines and uh, her relationship with Gabriel, I never believed that that's, you know, a lesbian relationship, but that's just my, how I felt that I didn't feel that that's a lesbian relationship or something. And so on. I mean, uh, she's the strongest and the most perfect, the closest thing to perfect. So that's why I love her. Never seen anything like that. Uh, you know, other female warriors can even get even like come close to what she is. Did you find it, uh, did you find it odd that the Wonder Woman costume was a lot like Xena's? Not really, uh, because, you know, it's logical that, you know, Diana is going to be dressed this way. She is from Greece. So for me, it's perfectly logical that her costume is going to look that, that way. Um, not really sure if it was inspired by Xena, but Xena really, you know, paved the way for this in live action because she's the first, you know, female character that you saw on the screen for so many years. And she's established, completely established character. Uh, and Wonder Woman was never that. I mean, she was never uh, so established on the on the screen. So Xena did a lot of things for the first time as a female character, and of course the Greek thing. She's close to the Amazons. It, it's very you know uh, there are similar similar things between between them. So it's it's perfectly logical that Wonder Woman is going to look this way, and her costume is amazing. So I have nothing against that. Nothing. So besides Total Divas and besides Xena, what's some of your favorite TV shows? Oh, that's a very cool question. Favorite TV shows uh, besides, yeah. Uh, no, like now or before? Both. <laughs> okay. So first thing that I, I can think of, uh, you know, is the comedy TV shows, which, uh, which are, you know, The Nannies, Married with Children. <laughs> the, those are the old ones, you know, Friends. Um, yeah, the nanny mostly because I just love Fran Drescher in that role. Just love everything about that show. Uh, after that, you know, Melissa and Joey is the new shows, The Big Bang Theory. Uh, now I watch Young and Hungry. Really like that show. Um, there's a lot more shows that I really can't think of the names, but you can say that those are the comedy shows. Uh, and after that, you know, I, I watch now Vikings. Game of Thrones uh, as the epic shows. Um, as the superhero shows, you know, The Flash, Arrow, uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, you could say I watch pretty much all of that. I don't watch Teen Wolf because I thought that it was just like Vampire Diaries. I mean, I felt the same when I started the first episode and I was like, nah, nah, I watched it. I already like watched this already, <laughs> you know, but I do watch the Vampire Diaries, the originals, you know, the CW shows, not not all of them, but these shows, mm, some supernatural shows, but they're they already were canceled. I don't watch Supernatural, actually. <laughs> That's very interesting that I don't watch that show. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever watch? Did, did you ever watch Walking Dead? No, I don't like zombies and to look at them. <laughs> They're very disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever did you ever watch uh Lost or American Horror Story or Breaking Bad? 
No, no, not my thing. Not my thing. So what is uh? So what do you listen to? Uh, so what's on? So what's on Jerry's iPod? What what does she listen to a lot? Right now, I some bass just because I kind of got like, a little bit of nostalgia feeling. Uh, but you know, Evanescence uh, and like Adele a bit. Um, there's so many things, you know, Demi Lovato, Kelly Clarkson, some old, you know, songs of Britney. Yeah, I, I mean, a lot of things. There is so much uh, that I can say. So, yeah, you could say that I, I listen to whatever is I find really good with the music and everything. You know, I can listen to R&B, like groups like Paramore and Evanescence. And in the same time, I can listen to Britney. I mean, I love that music and that music. No problem to me. So, do you, so are you, is there any kind of music that you don't listen to? Very hard music. I mean, like super hard rock or super hard metal. I don't listen to that. Yeah. Oh, so you don't listen, like, oh, so you don't listen to the guys going, and all that. Yeah, okay. No, no. That's good. <laughs> hey, you know what? Honestly, I can't understand the meter, so it's, it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, it's too much. I mean, it has to have some kind of a melody and sense to the lyrics uh, for me to, you know, to like it and to feel it. And yeah, pretty much. Uh, I'm sure that I'm missing something that I really, really love. But <laughs> you know, I know you like the old school. I mean, I know you like old school stuff like the Beatles. I, I remember you telling me that. Oh no, no, yeah, no! I like the Bangles. No, the female yeah. group, the Bangles. Yeah, uh, but the Beatles, no, not, I don't like anything that's after, that's before, I think, the 80s. Wow. Mm. I don't really think I do. I mean, I could like one or two songs, but mostly I like things that are after the late 80s. Okay. Uh, but all of that music I f heard, you know, for the first time after the mid 90s. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I think I like, one or two songs from the late 80s and from that is 90s and 2000s and so on well i know you said spider-man is big in bulgaria like what uh what what music stars or what movie stars are big in bulgaria as a foreign stars you know american yeah well, pretty much everybody that is huge in america you can say yeah, I mean, we know all the stars from America, and Enrique Iglesias was here very, you know, uh, very, um, like in the recent months, he was here also. Uh, Madonna was here, I think, four years ago, not sure, maybe four or five. Um, yeah, Pink was here at one time. I didn't go, but she was here. I also like her, by the way, I mean, her music. So, yeah, pretty much everybody are big here. So what is uh, so what's Jerry's celebrity crush? What's your celebrity crush? <laughs> you mean besides John Cena? <laughs> yeah, besides John Cena, yeah. Um, Henry Cavill, um, Chris Hemsworth, Chris Evans, uh, Chris. <laughs> Chris. I see like those big muscular guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's my ideal. Well, they were, I, you know, I started to draw something. I always drew that. I mean, a guy with muscles. <laughs> That's my favorite thing to draw. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So you, um, okay, here, here's a cool question for you. If you could play two parts, if you had a chance to play two parts, what would be your dream role? What would be your two dream roles that you would want to do? Okay, I'm not really worthy of that, like 1%, but Zena, <laughs> you know, Zena. And second part, I can't really think of a second part. I mean, the first thing that comes to my mind is Zena. Yeah. I can't really think of a second one. Would you, uh, would you rather, would you like to do like Laura Croft or something like that? No. I mean, not that I don't want to, but when I, you know, see myself in that role, I'm like, 
I totally don't look anything like Lara Croft. I have to, you know, remove myself from the screen right now. <laughs> I'm so unworthy of that. I have to get out of here right now. I so, just uh, have to, so, yeah. So just like uh, that type of it. So uh, what's your favorite holiday? Like, do you like Halloween? Do you like, uh, what do you like to celebrate? Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, yeah Christmas, my favorite holiday, yeah. What? I mean, that now that you've been a big fan of Xena, did you ever dress up like Xena for Halloween? No, because first, like I said, Halloween is here for like maybe three, three or four years. We, you know, acknowledge that it exists and some people are actually celebrate, celebrating it now. So it's not, you know, you know, that that holiday is not really so official here yet. And I don't have any means to get the Xena costume. I have to get it, you know, to get some tailor to make it for me. So I can't really dress like Zena. But I really want to make that happen. So we'll see if I find somebody that could do the costume. You know. Are you a, um, are you being into uh, fitness, exercising? Yeah, yeah, I am. Uh, so what kind of, uh, what kind of exercises do you do? Well, um, recently I bought a bike. So with the bike, I'm going to work and i drive it you know after work sometimes for like 40 minutes you know just for additional cardio and movement and when i get home i train with uh, different kinds of weights uh, and you know elastic band you know for resistance also i have that i have um extreme gym that's you know for the door that's it's like this you know it's um attaches to the door and you can hang from that and make pull-ups uh with different grips you know a wide grip uh you know a narrow grip and so on yeah. i have cross trainer but i think uh, that for the winter i'm going to buy uh like um uh, i forgot the word uh, for it but it's for the bike you know it holds the uh, the back of the bike so you can actually you know uh get on it and and uh, use it at home you know like a stationary bike uh, instead of you know the cross trainer because the bike can uh, provide more resistance and it is it's just better exercise than the cross trainer what's your uh what's your favorite color oh my favorite color mm, i have several i mean but mostly you can say blue and purple what is uh what did you uh what did you go to school for uh that's a very interesting question well i went for i just have to think of the word you know in english uh it's um it's something about the sound but I, i'm not sure how to translate that you can say sound technologies and studio equipment technology and producer yeah okay so uh so like you know how do you uh so how long have you been on youtube i think like, for long? almost three years now not sure maybe two two and a half or three i i, I don't even count i mean i have to go on youtube and see how long i was there but i think around two and a half three years so what's one of the you know being on youtube myself what is one, what is some of the you know being a woman i know it's um I know a lot of guys will make comments because you're a female, but um, what's some of the weirdest questions or some of the weirdest things that some subscribers or people that have viewed your video said to you? Oh boy, I have to remember. <laughs> not, not. I mean, there's so many things that somebody said to me. Uh, weird, yeah, like. I like you and I like how you look. You should do videos in panties or something. <laughs> so, something like that. Yeah, pretty much they're revolving around the same things. Uh, you probably do... If that would have been me, I would have said, well, you know what? I'll, I'll do a video in my panties if you do one with me. <laughs> I mean, that's what I would have said to him, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I said something that, you know, I'm not here, uh, you know, I'm not in YouTube about that. So, you know, find other sites for that. I'm not here for that. Right. But I mean, uh, what, you know, besides gaming, I know you have a gaming page and you have a review page. 
Uh, is there anything new that you're going to be working on? New, well, not exactly new, but I'm going to try, you know, to make more reviews. Uh, and yeah, just make more reviews and see how that goes. Different kinds of, you know, commentaries and stuff. But it's always about time. So time, time, time. That's always the problem. If, you know, if somebody could, you know, sponsor me, I could, you know, quit my job and do this full time and I will be doing a lot more, you know, bigger and better things. But for now, I'm just doing what whatever I can, you know, with the time that I have. What a bit besides uh, painting and singing, what are some of your uh, hobbies outside of YouTube and work? Going to the movies, but uh, that that's not exactly counting, maybe. Um, other type of hobbies. Well, I, you know, love to play uh, that game. Damn it. I mean, to go out and play that game. Uh, bowling. Yeah, I love bowling. Were you, uh, were you a sports girl growing up? Sports girl... Mm, you can say that I was very physical in in terms that I was always, you know, running, uh, jumping around things, uh, just love to run. Yeah, you can say that. And of course, I had to fight, but that was just, you know, circumstances and stuff. What are some of the, uh, what are some of the uh, best food that you've had, like at, uh, in Bulgaria? Oh, you mean like a national dish? Yeah, dish, yes. Mm. Hmm. Well, uh, Bulgarian uh, pancakes. <laughs> They're pretty oh, yeah. delicious. Yeah, I have actually a video that I show how to make them. They're very easy to make. You're going to need only flour, you know, white flour, unfortunately. You can make it with some kind of like more healthier, but usually they're made with white flour, eggs, milk, uh, and a little bit of vanilla in there, and that's it. You just need a uh, unstick, you know, pan, and you just, you know, pour uh, the, the, yeah, you know, pour the liquid substance and uh, a little bit from the from the one side, from the other side, and it's done. And you can, you know, uh, put some uh, honey on, on whatever you have uh, on it that is sweet, or you can make it a salty pancake if you like also with mayonnaise, pickles, a little bit of ham, and you can, put, uh, you know, roll that because it's, you know, very thin pancake and you can eat it. It's very, very delicious. But we also have like um, beans that we are very, you know, very good at cooking. And um, we have moussaka, which is um, <laughs> a special dish with potatoes and, um, and you can say pork meat that is grind and so on. I mean, there's a lot of things to eat here that are entirely, you know, uh, our idea. Well, I definitely have to look up the pancake video because for a guy, I actually like to cook. So I have to look that up myself. So. Oh, yeah. You'll find how easy it is. It's just very time consuming. Uh, it's very easy, but uh, you can sit on the pan for like an hour and make them because you can make like that about 20 pancakes at least. Well, let me ask you, you know, being a female uh, and seeing movie roles, TV shows and being on YouTube, um, do you do you think do you, does it bother you that women are kind of looked at as sex objects? Yeah. Yeah, you can say that. I mean, sometimes men are too, you know, looked at as a sex object, you know, like Chris Hemsworth, for instance. Uh, and, you know, that's that it can be, you know, annoying at times, sometimes when it's with the purpose for comedy or something else. I mean, it all depends on the movie, on the role, really. Uh, when a woman plays, you know, a prostitute or something, that's her, you know, just her role. So it has some kind of a purpose for the plot and everything. And if a man plays that, again, the same thing. So all depends on things. Uh, but like, you know, maybe how uh, Megan Fox was dead in the Ninja Turtles. You know, in the second movie, that, that was so intentional how they did that. You know, she, but she also super awesome. So 
how can they not? <laughs> I mean, you have to, you know, take some things. I mean, you have to uh, see the difference between what is okay and what is not okay. And what is, you know, just because um, the circumstances or the world that the movie is presenting. So it's not always, you know, like bad, like, oh my gosh, that's bad. Just depends on how, how the things are done, you know. Well, you know, do you think it's fair that most men boo John Cena because women are cheering for him? No, <laughs> that's not fair. I mean, what what the guy to do? I mean, he was well, uh, so awesome with uh, her, his whole life, and he did train from uh, he was a kid, so he did that. I mean, he, it's a product of of his hard work, so. Uh, I don't count jealousy as something that I can justify. You know? Do you? I mean, I, I know you grew up watching The Rock. Do you think he's a better wrestler or a better actor? That's interesting. I mean, I, I think he's he's both. He's very good entertainer as a wrestler. Exactly. You know, when you think about how he's wrestling in the ring. Uh, I think that he's better entertainer than anything else in the ring. And as an actor, he's now just becoming better and better and better with each movie. So I think he's a better actor. Yeah. In a way. Now, has anyone from Bulgaria seen your videos on YouTube? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, some people are. Uh, some people did find me, yeah. And know about me. Do they stop you on the streets and or, no, is it, or is it just like it's... family and fans? Or is it just family and friends to see you? No, no, family and friends I don't count at all as people that are seeing me. I'm talking about the other people that I really don't know that uh, found me through YouTube because they also know English and so on. Uh, so uh, totally different people that I don't know, but. Uh, I never met anyone on the street that will recognize me yet and say, oh, yeah, that's Gary. <laughs> Not yet, at least. Are you, are, you, are you doing YouTube for fame or are you just doing it as like a something fun to do? Well, you know, uh, I'm going to explain it like this. So if you are, you know, an art person your whole life and you want to do art in some form, and now I've reached, you know, this part of, of my life that I really want to express uh, what I think uh, and to see what I can do, you know, with the software and so on to express that part of, you know, my talents and develop them. And this way to do it is YouTube. So I'm just doing YouTube mostly to uh, use what I was given as talents. So I just don't want that to get to waste um and because everything in my country unfortunately is done you know with a lot of connections you have to do things on your own and you have to learn how to do things on your own so i'm just trying to do something of that of youtube but in the same time uh, the the core thing is that i am trying to develop myself and to use my talents because i just don't want you know my talents to be wasted how i i can do all those things for a reason so I'm just trying to figure things out, and uh, YouTube is just the way, you know, at the moment. I can respect that because a lot of people here in America, and I will be honest with you with this, they tend to have all the talent in the world to do stuff. And when they have all the talent in the world to do stuff, they let it go to waste. I know a bunch of people like that. And I'm actually glad that other countries don't do that. So I'm actually giving you big props for that. The fact that you are using your talents wisely. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, I, I just think that, you know, when you're when, when you have certain abilities, if you don't use them, it, they are really going to waste. You know, um, if you have interest, you, you love to do something, you have to put your energy into that and use it. Because otherwise, why the hell you, you even have it? You don't deserve it then, you know? So uh, who do you um, uh, who do you follow on on YouTube or you know who do you like on YouTube besides besides like you know do you watch Tyrone Magnus do you watch the Real Rejects do you watch um, some of your friends that you know uh, Yeah, I watch some of my friends that I know like you know Falagar, Sammy, Five Seventeen, you know big shout out to him. 
uh, movie man Jays. Uh, but you know, from the bigger, bigger, bigger YouTubers, like I said, Angry Joe, Grace Randall, Jeremy Jones. Um, that first guy that you mentioned, uh, Tyler. Yeah, uh, Tyrone Magnus. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I watch him. Sometimes I watch him. Uh, you know, but mostly those guys that I just mentioned, uh, the flick pick, you know, the movie guys, uh, Collider, you know, Collider, Collider video talk or whatever that was. Uh, they were, you know, AMC movie talk, but now they are Collider, you know, John Campia. Uh, yeah. So and, you just, and you just started watching me too. So there you go. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. yeah. But um, I would actually like to have you on more to do like to do wrestling stuff. I know you do a lot of movie reviews, but I think you would bring some stuff to wrestling on here that usually doesn't be on there because a lot of people on here they all hate the same people, they all hate the same things. So it's good to have diversity. Oh yeah, and, I agree. I agree. I always agree. Now before we, this is my last one of my last questions to you. Um, I know your video with Marvel versus DC. What do you think DC has to do to catch up to Marvel? Well, that's very difficult, you know, to, to do, you know, to catch up to Marvel because you have to uh, please the people. And sometimes the people don't, you know, don't really know what they want. And they won't like Marvel. Some people really don't like Marvel. I mean, uh, and if you ask me what I want, I just want, you know, DC to be different than Marvel because I already have, you know, Marvel, so I don't need right. another Marvel. <laughs> and DC are, you know, different. And I love that about DC. They're what I imagined them to be uh, on the big screen. I mean, many people, you know, maybe with a different opinion about that, but they are what I want to be. Yeah. But, you know, different opinions. So what they have to do, uh, they have to try you know to appeal to that other part of the audience uh, unfortunately uh, i will also like that so it's not like they're going to lose me they're not going to lose me and as i heard you know from the new justice league news they are doing that and they said that you know deborah schneider uh, said that um you know bvs is going to be as dark as as those movies are going to be so never we're going to see another movie more dark than bvs uh, yeah, so they are going a little bit in that direction, on you know, the lighter direction, but I think that they're just, they are going to do their own thing and it's not going to be like Mara, but maybe enough, you know, for people to get to calm down finally. Exactly. I'm actually, I'm, I'm totally behind you. I think DC needs to be different in Marvel. Marvel's more lighter and funner. DC needs to be more darker and depressed. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, but what, you know, the situation in the comics is not different than this. So the situation in the comics is the same. This was always darker than Marvel, I think. The last two quick questions I have for you. If you could be any female villain or female superhero, who would you want to be? Um, if you count Xena as a superhero, Xena. <laughs> if not, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Would you rather be the Wonder Woman that we see now or the Wonder Woman in the past? That we see now. I, I really love how Gal Gadot is portraying her and I uh, really, I just really love, uh, love to see more of that. Uh, she, she does have that, you know, power. Uh, I mean, she does realize that she, she plays that like, she does realize that she has that power in the same time she's modest about it in the same time she's aware that she has it so she knows how to use it uh, it's very interesting how she she does that so i can't wait to see her in you know the wonder woman movie because what i saw from the all those clips that they showed us she is what this what she's supposed to be as wonder woman and um yeah i can really feel her so yeah definitely her if you could if you were if you were a wwe diva Mm -hmm. what would be your theme what would be your theme what would be your attire and who would be your dream opponent okay mm, my team okay wonder woman <laughs> wonder woman type of music you know like um 
if you if you hear, I mean, if you heard, uh, you know, the BVS soundtrack, Wonder Woman has this amazing music, like really yes. epic. Yes. So yes. that's the music. That's the music. Uh, and yeah, you know, my what I'm going to wear is going to be similar to Xena Wonder Woman, you know, the Greek kind of a theme, because no one is that now. No one is that in the you know in the WWE. No one. No one does that. So I will be that. If I was, you know, my WWE diva, I'm going to be with the Greek things and, you know, with the elements and something. It's going to be very cool. Uh, and what is going to be my dream opponent? I don't know. Not sure who I want to fight. Oh, yeah. You know what? I want to fight that annoying, <laughs> uh, that the, the champion. I want to fight, you know, Ric Flair's dollar. Yeah, I want to fight her. Oh, Charlotte. Just Shout out just because I want to beat her ass so much right now, <laughs> you know. Yeah. If you um, if you could have a dream match with one of the guy wrestlers. Mhm. Mm well, I prefer you know John Cena, but in my corner as a partner, not against him. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what would be your finishing move? Would it be like um, would it be like a knockout? Would it be like a karate kick? Would it be? Hmm, wait a minute, I'm thinking. Maybe something uh, like uh, like Nikki's, you know, when she puts somebody on her back and she just makes some kind of a move and they fall off, fall off, you know. The rack okay. attack or something? You yeah. Know, maybe. maybe that, yeah. So you would be doing like a power move? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, something that has to do with power, yeah, because I just, yeah, I'm enough strong for that. Yeah. So, uh, what is your? Uh, I don't know if you're single or if you're in a relationship, but if you are in a relationship, what does your boyfriend think about you doing these uh, videos? Um. Well, he's a fan, actually. I mean, a fan because um, at the beginning I started to do first Xena videos, like Xena music videos, uh, with certain topic, but that you know is copyrighted, so I can only do this as entertainment and not as anything else. Uh, but I learned how to work with, you know, all kinds of software, you know, video making software. And he discovered that because he was a Xena fan. And he was a fan at first. And we started talking on Skype and things kind of just happened, you can say. So he loves everything that I do. That's that's yep. that's good. And, and things like me. So we are very close. Uh, in the ways of everything. I mean, we have the same taste uh, about movies, music, uh, you can say everything, and Xena. Yeah, Xena. <laughs> so is he a wrestling fan too, or, you're that, or is that just you? <laughs> oh, no, he, he watches, you know, uh, wrestling and UFC, like me. Yeah, and he, the, his uh, favorite wrestlers were, you know, Stone Cold and The Rock when growing up. So pretty much the same as me. And of course, after that, John Cena, and now he's like a huge fan of John, like I am. So you guys have to be like, so who's going to be Hercules and who's going to be Xena tonight? <laughs> <laughs> never thought of that, actually. <laughs> yeah, no? never crossed my mind. No. Well, that's actually cool, though, that you actually met him offline and he was a fan of your work. So that makes it very good for you supportive yeah absolutely yeah because we are like the same person basically in the ways of thinking which is very good i mean opposites do not attract i mean <laughs> that's i mean you can be attracted you know to somebody that is opposite of you but that's so brief that it's going to die very very quickly if you want you know to have a good stable relationship you have to be with the person that is closest to you as possible and in the ways of everything so you can have uh virtually you know no conflict at all and that's that boring that that's harmony that's harmony <laughs> i can testify to that well now that's best now that's probably the best relationship advice that you can give right there um folks if you meet your significant other make sure they have a lot in common with you <laughs> absolutely Absolutely. You know, the smallest, uh, we we have a saying here, like, the smallest pebble can turn around the car sometimes. And when there are too many pebbles, 
they can form like a wall with time so you know it's better to have like 90 percent capability uh, even more the more the better the more the better would you consider yourself a girly girl or would you consider yourself more of a tomboyish girl a tomboyish girl yeah i like i like men toys to play with when i was little i don't I, you know i didn't like any dolls when i see a barbie doll i'm like where's the can doll <laughs> 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 I, I prefer to play with that it kind of looks cooler to me you know I like cars different kinds of cars and action figures love action figures and horses you know to play with horses um, make warriors out of Legos and stuff like that you are a tough broad then <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't know where that came from, but I never liked girly, girly toys. Was it from your family? Did your mom, was your mom more of a tomboyish girl than a girly girl or just something that you developed? No, nobody is like me. That Nobody. Like nobody, really nobody. I mean, she like, uh, you know, she wanted to have a girl because before me she had, you know, a boy, my brother, and she dreamt, you know, oh, I, I like to have a girl now, you know. And when I was, you know, little, I didn't like to get dressed in, you know, dresses, girly dresses. And she's like, oh, damn, <laughs> you know, I wanted to have a girl and now she doesn't like to get in those dresses. I was, I was like, ah, what is this on me? I mean, remove that. So yeah. So, so are you like a jeans and t-shirt girl or are you like a mixture of both or what? You can say jeans and t-shirt or a yoga pants and t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, something like that. But that like yoga pants in America. Not like that. Yeah, yeah yoga pants. Yeah, the same thing. Yeah, but not exactly. I mean, our yoga pants are a bit different or just, you know, like summer pants or something like that. Yeah, yoga pants here, like they call them, like sometimes they call them yoga pants, sometimes they call them exercise pants. It's, uh, it looks like spandex almost. Yeah, like, like spandex, yeah, something like that. Now, before you go, uh, is there any, uh, for your subscribers, uh, is there any future videos you have planned? Yeah, I have uh, about the workouts and losing weight, uh, I have an update for that. Uh, Blu-ray update, uh, movie review of Dory as soon as I see that on Thursday. On the gaming channel, I have E3, uh, you know, recap uh, what I liked about E3 and so on. So, yeah, I do have some videos uh, coming out and planned. Definitely. Um, definitely would love to be a part of some of your stuff. I actually think it's really great. Awesome. So I can't wait for us to do the rest of the video then. Yes, it's actually going to be one of those open floor things where I'm actually not on here with people who actually want to um, always say bad things about stuff. I'm like, you know, be kind of positive for a change. Oh, yeah. Positive is always better. Always better. That is why it's called positive. <laughs> you know? Now, is there any um, is there anything that you would like to add or anything you would want to end with or? Well, I just want to say, you know, thank you for your time, you know, to inviting me, uh, inviting me to this interview. Uh, I had a great time, and I'm looking forward to do more videos with you. So, thank you very much. No problem. Um, we're about to sign out here, Kev's point of view here with um, with uh, Jerry. Is it Jerry or Gary? It's Gary. It's Gary. Gary. Okay. Gary. Yeah. Here with Jerry with, with, with Gary G reviews. Um, I'm going to put both of the links of her gaming and her reviews on the description. Everybody who's watched, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, you definitely should check her out, guys. Any of y'all who've never seen her stuff, check it out. Thank you. And, of course, to my viewers, when they see this video on my channel, please check Kev's point of view. Yeah, we have two channels, guys. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, we're, both we're, channels. We're, both yeah, channels. I have to put the link of the both channels, of course. So we're signing out, guys. I, I, I appreciate you taking the time out to talk to me. Thank you, too. Bye, guys. Until next time.